We brought Carson back to OU Children's and they knew right away that something was wrong. Cassandra's son Carson suffered a traumatic brain injury when he was just a baby. He was backed over in our driveway. As a result of that, he has lots of neuromuscular issues. She told us the sharp curve of his spine caused breathing problems, forcing him to undergo a spinal fusion. We were back home about four or five days and I noticed that his dressing on his back was draining quite a bit. That's when they returned back to OU Children's. The culture showed the Pseudomonas aeruginosa. Pseudomonas aeruginosa, considered an urgent threat by the CDC. It is deadlier, especially for people with a weakened immune system, compromised skins. The mortality rate is uh, very high for this infection. It's about 50%. We went to the lab at OU where where scientists are working to stop the bug. They've received a grant of $5.7 million. The Norman Lab will work with other research teams to develop new antibiotics to fight Pseudomonas. This uh, grant it just signifies how significant the problem is. The research starts here at OU. We are actually the center of this effort. We are told that Pseudomonas aeruginosa is often contracted inside hospitals, which makes sense in Carson's case. Mom Cassandra has seen firsthand how important the OU research could be. 50% of all people that contract Pseudomonas um, it's fatal for them, so it's very scary for us. Do you find that Pseudomonas aeruginosa is becoming more and more resistant to antibiotics or just yes. the, okay. And because of the infection, doctors perform surgery on baby Carson again. He had two more surgeries after that. They had to open it the whole length of his back, clean it all out and reclose it. You kind of think these days that uh, this inf bacterial infection you only need to take pill for a few days and it will be gone. Not Pseudomonas aeruginosa. Carson has been in and out of the hospital several times and is lucky to be alive. The OU scientists are hoping to save more lives with better and faster technology. Traditional approaches don't work. And um, so the projects that we are working on is actually to find uh, new ways how we can kill this bug. Abigail Ogle, KOCO 5 News.